know your IS code provisions short lecture series. In this short lecture, I will explain about floating column. Now, when do we say a column as a floating column? And what are the code provisions to safeguard against, uh, the, build, against safeguard the building which has floating columns? So let's go into the details. <coughs> floating column. So floating column is one of the vertical irregularities which are given in table number six. So the item number six, that is floating column. Now, what are the negative effects if any floating column is there? And what is the definition of floating column? Let's look into that. So columns where gravity load is not transferred to foundation directly. So that means what a column which is coming from top to bottom, actually column goes from bottom to top. So floating column means what that bottom portion from uh, is not there. That means load is not directly transferred uh, through gravity. Gravity load is not transferred to uh, the foundation directly. So let's look at the picture. Yeah, so this is how it is. So in this, actually there are five uh, column lines. So middle three, where the column load is directly going to foundation. But when you look at this extreme left uh, uh, column, so fourth floor uh, load is supported on third floor, third floor column load is supported on second floor, and second floor column load is supported on beam, as you can see here. So beam is supporting second floor column load. And here on the extreme right side also, same thing. So this is a typical example of floating column. So sometimes this uh, column, uh, even rests on slabs also. So columns resting on beams or slabs where load is not directly transferred to foundation. Now elements supporting, if that happens, elements supporting these floating columns experience huge forces during earthquakes. So in earlier version of the code, some factors are, uh, factor was given to design such elements, but this code, this uh, version of the code prohibits this one. So we'll go into the clause a uh, little later. So what happens is if such columns are present, the column load transfer path, that means lateral load transfer path, lateral load path, it will take large detours in its load path. So there'll be huge uh, demands, okay, force demands and displacement demands if such columns are present. Now let's look at what code says. First thing is, such columns are likely to cause concentrated damage in the structure and are undesirable. Code clearly says that such kind of columns are undesirable. But where they are undesirable, they are undesirable. It says that <clears throat> a building with floating columns shall not be permitted if floating columns are part of or supporting the primary lateral load resisting system. So there are two things in this one. A building with floating columns shall not be permitted if floating columns are part of a lateral load resisting system or they are supporting the primary lateral load resisting system. So there are two uh, conditions in it. So in such case, the, it is not permitted. But if the floating column is present in the frame, where it is not primary uh, like load carrying mechanism or load carrying path, then in such cases it is okay. But still uh, it is like uh, has to be designed for appropriate forces. But if it is on the primary uh, lateral load carrying path, then it has to be, it, it is prohibited. So that's what code suggests. So this short lecture is to help uh, students and practicing engineers to understand IS codes in a better manner. Thank you.